The refurbished Cynthia. These guys in this box yeah, down here. Yeah, this is here. how it comes. Okay. Well, and this is and this pretend, is. Uh, let's pretend this was like that. Right. Perfect. <laughs> yes. Was. Perfectly lined up. Right. Scoop tool. Drip tray. Looky there. Not bad. Everything's got tape on it, so it doesn't get all screwed up. Bag. Make sure you get peanuts all over your floor. <laughs> You know, we wouldn't want you to be any neater and cleaner than we are here. Exactly. <laughs> Cord. And that's it. So, we just took this off the lineup, folks. Um, so, we we'll grab the bag here. Yep. And the scoop came with it. Um, so, our refurbs are, we buy them um, by the pallet from Seiko. Yep. And then we've got the guys in the back of lineup going crazy on cleaning, yes. repairing if needed, testing. Little, uh... Little soldiers all back there. Yes. All right. Mm -hmm. You've got so, the, this bad boy out up on the on the. Yeah, got all the the glue tape off of it. You know, <laughs> <laughs> it holds everything together so it doesn't get scratched. Comes with a quick start guide. Equipment warranty through Seattle Coffee Gear. A regular manual shows you how to use the whole machine. Mm -hmm. And then also um, any collateral in there. We put about extending your warranty or any other specials we want to offer you. Mm, okay. Just for you, Kat. And what's up in the bean hopper? Yep. The other thing that it comes with is it. this explains that it is refurbished. Mm -hmm. The machine can have some scratches on it. Yes. It can also have residual uh, grounds up in here. Okay. Uh, from typically testing? They don't, from testing, yeah. Okay. Um, typically they don't because we really go through these things top to bottom. So. But, like, we have to test them before we say it's good once of you course. put a machine all back together. So you can't test and then take it apart and clean it well, again. Well, <laughs> what, what, no, what they do is they, they test them with beans. They go through them with beans, and then mm -hmm. they take it apart, throw everything into the cleaning process. Okay. Take it back, put it back together, and then they put it into test mode. I see. They put it in test mode to make sure that... They can make the grinder go around. They can make all this. So there can be, just from doing that one little thing, there can be a, just a little bit of residual from the grinder go down in there. I see. But it won't, it typically will not have a lot of ground coffee in it. Cool. Um, all right. So shall we? Yeah, we got it all. Show the innards here. here. We've yep. got the regroup on the side access with this guy. Brew unit comes out on the side on this guy. Everything and there's a good example clean. right there. See that coffee down in there? Yeah. That's from the test mode. You can have just a little bit of residual like that in your brew unit. Okay. The dregs box goes right in the front. We re-serialize these, so it's got Seattle Coffee Gears. Um, Info. Uh, yeah, this is our serial number. That's where you can find your serial number. Uh, water is right here. 41 ounces. Okay. It's your baby. Yeah, it's very tiny. Yeah. That's okay. I mean, that's the whole idea with the Cynthia yeah. and Focus series, right? It's your small footprint it, machine. It's a compact machine. It's got one program or two programmable buttons up here. You can program those to whatever you want from 0.5 ounces up to 8 ounces. Okay. You can make a long go. Right here is if you want steam, you turn this over to the steam side. And if you want nothing, it's in the center. And to the right is brew. <coughs> Or uh, hot water. I'm sorry, not not brew. Hot water. If you want to brew, you push these. Oh, okay. This is going to give you hot water out of the steam arm. This is going to give you steam if you have it pointed. And this does not have an SBS. I've noticed. No SBS okay. right here. Has a bypass doser, and you can also, when we turn this on and get it going, we'll show you how uh, you can ramp up the grams of coffee that are ground to be brewed through. Okay. One bean, two bean, or three bean. Cool. Seven to ten grams. Bypass doser right here. On off button in the back where the right here. For the master on and off. Cool. And you can leave that one on all the time and then this is your power supply up here. I see. So I put some beans up in the hopper. And water in the reservoir. Water in the reservoir. I have done nothing else except turn it on. And it did its own it did a rinse. So you really <laughs> kind of have to tweak these things when you first get it. So I was talking about one bean, two bean, three bean. There's bypass doser. One bean, two, three. Okay. So when you first get it, it's got to fill the grinder with ground coffee. So we're okay. just going to make a coffee. 
probably won't get much out of here. Now, um, let's talk about, so when you're doing your shots, you're only pulling it into one shot glass. Why is that, Gail? These are only capable of going up to 10 grams, which is te technically one shot. So you shouldn't be trying to make, you shouldn't try to make two ounces out of this because then it's going to be a week, two shots. You're going to be like, it's a watery thing. Yeah, you won't like it. Yeah. So the first one looks watery. Yeah. I'm going to shut that off. The grinder isn't quite full yet. Plus, I think what I would do, maybe take the grinder a little more um, to the fine side. Well, can you show me where I would do that? I will. I'm going to get rid of this in our water depository. <laughs> in our shot repository. <laughs> Everybody has to have a, the GS3 repository. Okay, okay, so this is it right here. And I don't know if you can see it, but there are larger beans. There's five different little round symbols on here. And as you go to this side, they're smaller. And as you go to this side, they're larger. Mm -hmm. Larger means coarser grind. This means finer grind. And so do the guys, do, do, there are a few guys, they just leave it right in the middle, right in the middle. when they do it? Okay. Yep. So. You took it just one one, one dot notch. finer? One notch. And now you have to do it while the grinder is running when you take it to a finer setting. And it's not going to be reflected in the first shot. Why do I have to have it uh, going when I change it finer? You're taking... I'm going to make sure I shut this off because I think it's going to be... Crazy again? Crazy, yep. yeah. I'm going to do it again. Okay. When you... Picture, picture two, two things, whatever. Would it be conical or flat? You already have ground coffee in between those. So you've got two things that are like this with ground coffee. If you mm -hmm. try to make them closer, <clears throat> you're compacting that coffee. I see. So while it's running, though, the coffee, the birds are running, the coffee will move through. <clears throat> but if you make it larger... It the, doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. As you're moving, if you're, if you're moving them away from each other. As a general rule in most of the manuals, so it says if you're trying to make a grinder adjustment, make sure it's running. So that's true. That's not just Cynthia. It's any grinder where you're moving burrs Pretty closer much. together. Oh, there's some of them. Some of the older machines have the grinder adjustment inside the bean hopper, and when the lid is off the bean hopper, it won't run. <laughs> it's got a little sensor. <laughs> this one doesn't have that. <laughs> so you're kind of... So they're kind of messing yeah, with you. Yeah, messing with you. <laughs> Oh, espresso machine. Okay, now you can see that's coming out. Well, no, it did in the beginning anyway. A little bit Let's slow. slow it down a little bit. Yeah. So you can take it down another one, or are you going to nope. run a few more shots through I'm going to run another one through. Okay. Okay. So we got the grinder down pretty low. We also um, are going to program this now for one shot. And you'll see that the shot is more full-bodied. Okay. So now that it says memo, is that it's because it's in its... It's in its program mode. Okay. And I don't think you have to hold it, but I'm not going to find out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure that you can let go and then just hit it again when you get what you want. I'm going to program this for one shot. Pre-infusion. Wait time. Didn't mention that before. So you can see yeah. that's a lot nicer shot than the first one. It's still not extracting no um, at the at like a rate you'd see with a traditional machine though, Gail. No, and you won't get that out of a super automatic. Okay. They're never going to be that slow shot. And that's just the nature of the it's beast. It's the nature of the beast. So this has a <laughs> uh, thermal block. All right. A for the brewing and then a thermal block for the steam side. Okay. So I'm going to turn this to and purge this if there's anything to be purged. And it's going to warm up. I don't think there'd be much to purge on this baby. A little bit. Yeah, more than I really thought. There we go. Repository. And yeah, now you preheated your glass as well, Gail. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. So, see that little hole there? Like all the panorellas yeah. of this sort? That's where the air goes in to make your bubbly. And I don't mean champagne. Mm. You know, this is a typical thermal block. You can hear the boom, boom. It's not going to happen fast. 
Let's say you were getting too much foam. If you bury that hole in the milk, it'll stop. So we've got our milk done here. And um, so you have done this for a single shot. How? What if I want my double? What do I do? Oh, what's your twice? You got two cups in. It'll do the whole. It'll do the whole process twice, grinding and everything. Okay. Ooh. So then. So then you um, get that like similar to a double shot from a traditional machine. Similar. Okay. See the foam? I got mega foam. Yeah. It's a lot of foam because the milk started out way down here. Mega foam. Mega foam. That's your superhero name, Gail. I am Gail, and I am the megaphone. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get in the way of me and my phone. <laughs> bad. Were you? I'm better than bad. <laughs> oh, jeez. Still gonna that do it. shot's not gonna be amazing. Yeah. I'm just gonna steal some out of the grinder and throw them in there. <laughs> We're good. I guess we should talk about that. So there is, as you said, you have to load up the grinder. So there is grounds in a chute up in there. Yeah. So when you're making changes, it takes a few times to see them come yes, through. Yes, a okay. little bit. Yep, a couple of shots anyway. All right, so we got our double whammy there. Another double whammy, and I didn't keep that mixed in, cat. You got me <laughs> distracted. I got mega foam distracted. I can tell you there's not going to be any art out of this. <laughs> but... You just wanted a really fluffy cappuccino, didn't you, Gail? Yes, I did. Look at that. It looks pretty. Mm-hmm. Mm, tastes good, too. It's nice and warm. I'm going to give this a squirt. Mm -hmm. Oh, the wand. Yeah, yeah, we didn't squirt it out. I should have squirted it out right in the beginning. So it doesn't get uh, milk sucked up into there. it? There we go. And then you should probably pull that little sleeve off as well. Gail, <laughs> mega foam is not fireproof. <laughs> yeah, you can pull the sleeve off. And, uh, and you can walk, under the And this comes and... off as well. Okay. The whole rubber. Yeah, looky. See? Yes. We squirted out the tip here when we squirted that, but cool. that doesn't mean it got out of the whole panarello. Cool. All so, right. So this is the refurb version, SCG refurb version of the... Um, Cynthia. Cynthia. See all the warning Available signals? now. Yeah. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. All right. Do, 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 do. Thank you very much, Gail Williams. You're welcome, Kat. Catch you later.